what's up guys and welcome back to my channel where we talk about making money we talk about how to start a business and run it and 2023 is a year of making money so be sure to subscribe and in today's episode we'll be talking about how to start a party rental business so in this video we'll be giving a list of all the most high equipment number two cost of all those equipment that we'll be talking about and number three, how to run the business and how to market and get more clients so that your business can run smoothly. So let me start by explaining the whole business model about party rental business. So in your community, there are people who throw parties. We all throw parties. We throw birthday parties, weddings, etc., etc. So when you're throwing a party, there are some equipment that you, you'll be needing uh, on, your, on your day, on your party but you won't be having them at your house. So usually we borrow from friends. Uh, sometimes we hire from other companies, right? So this business is whereby you gather all that equipment that people need when they are throwing parties, and then you'll be renting out to people, to people in your community, uh, and then they'll be paying you to use your equipment. So as always, I've already done the research with my team on all the most popular equipment that people usually hire. All right, so we have things like cutlery, we have things like plates and silverware, we have tables, we have chairs, and other kitchen equipment like shaving dishes, gas stoves, price stands, and all those different uh, kitchen equipment. So basically what you'll be doing there is you, it, it all depends now with your capital on the amount of uh, equipment uh, that you, you can buy at first. So this list, I'm going to, to list all these things again on the description. So, and on this list, it's a bit difficult now for me to give you uh, prices because we have different types of chairs. They are different types of silverware. So what you have to do is you go to your nearest shops and just check the ones that you can get uh, with good prices. You, you can go to a Warsaw shop and just compare the prices and then just see what you can afford with the money that you'll be having as capital. And if you have been at a party, you realize that there are always children around. So you can also add things like jumping castles, a trampoline on your list of equipment. There are a lot of kids' parties nowadays, so you can also rent out your equipment to all those kids' parties. A jumping castle, you can get that one for around $1,000. It can go up. It all depends with the kind of jumping castle you'll be wanting to purchase. But with just $1,000, you can get a good one. And when you're renting it out, the average charges are around $10 per hour. So it means if someone hires for five hours, that would be $50. So can you see that uh, if you compare now the money that you get from rentals and uh, the cost of buying one jumping castle, it's, it's, it's a very lucrative business. And another way of making money with party rentals is owning a PA system. So this one also depends with the amount of capital you have. You can get a small PA system for around $500 and it can go up to a million dollars. So it all depends with the amount of money you have. So once you have a PA system, you'll be renting out now to people who will be throwing parties and that's how you get paid. And just like with the, with the jumping castle, you'll be charging per hour as well so that you make more money. You can say maybe, obviously it depends with how big your PA system will be. Let's say if you have a, a PA system with maybe 10 speakers, you can charge maybe $100 per hour. And if someone wants it for 10 hours, that means you'll be getting $1,000. So it all depends with one where you live, the kind of community where you, you, you'll be renting out your PA system to and also how big your PA system is, how big and good your PA system is. Uh, and all, all those factors um, contribute to the amount that you charge uh, per hour. But you definitely make money no matter how small or how big your PA system is. And last but not least, you can also add deco equipment like draping on the list of items that you'll be hiring out. If you've been to parties lately, you see that it's different from the parties that we used to have in the 90s. Nowadays, people do a lot of decoration uh, on their parties. So you can actually make a lot of money by hiring out a deco equipment to those people who will be doing the decorations. So on this one now, it's a little bit difficult for me to give you actual charges that you can charge your clients because I've given you a list of different types of equipment. But maybe I'll, I'll just give you pointers on what to do. So for you to be safe, for you to make sure that your equipment is safe every time, you have to draft a contract. 
so that everyone will be you will be giving out your equipment who will be hiring out your equipment will sign that contract and that person also needs to pay a security deposit especially when you're hiring out electronic equipment because if anything happens to let's say your PA system it to be your loss so you have to cover your back by drafting a contract where you put a security deposit for each and every item that you'll be hiring out that way you'll be safe you know that whatever uh, happens you have something to use to recover um, your equipment now we have covered all the basics of this business but how do you market your business to get clients especially when you're starting so the most effective way is by offering free services at first there are a lot of people that are doing uh, patterns so you can just say i'm offering you my PA system to use and then you go there you brand all your speakers you write your company name and your contacts on the speakers so that as people will be dancing to the songs they'll be seeing that the speaker belongs to a b and c and if you want to use those speakers you contact the number that will be written on the speakers and as you volunteer to use your equipment on people's parties you can also go while you are wearing your regalia while you're wearing your t-shirts that are branded with your company name and all the things that you hire out and your contact details as well that's another effective way of um, marketing your company because people will be seeing that those are the people that are supplying this kind of equipment so if they want to do a party in the, in the future they will definitely contact you and number two social media nowadays we live on social media we spend a lot of hours on things like instagram uh, facebook and all those different types of social media so create a presence uh, for your business on those platforms and market it to people there are groups especially on facebook there are community groups just shame what you do in all those groups and you definitely get clients you can also try to create a website for your business so that when someone wants to check uh, to see what you do you can just refer that person to your website and that person will be able to get all the information about your company on that website and if all this doesn't work you can also try the old-fashioned way of using flyers just print a few flyers and go maybe to a busy place like uh, a mall or a train station or a bus station and start giving out those flyers we never know you might get clients uh, using the traditional way and just to sum up there are some things that you might need uh, if you're doing this kind of business uh, you might need a lot of storage you might need a proper warehouse it all depends with the amount of equipment that you'll be uh, possessing all right so you are the one that knows your capital and uh, the amount of equipment that you'll be having in stock so you're the one that knows how much space you need so you might need there might be a need for you to rent an actual building to use as a warehouse and you also need a truck but with a truck you can hire a truck from some other people if you do not own one it's, it's less costly for you to just hire on the day when you when you're hiring out your equipment and there are some times whereby that person that will be hiring your equipment will come and pick uh, using their own transport so you should also be aware of those two things one way of rental and also a truck the truck should be readily available in case your client does not have any transport so you transport your equipment to them and you also charge them transport so that's another way of making more revenue so this is it guys this is all the information you need to start a party rental business so if you have any question on this business idea write it in the comment section and we'll definitely come back to you to answer your question and if you have any other business idea that you want us to do research for you write it as well in the comment section and we'll make a video and tag you so that it will be easy for you to go and invest your money into that business idea and if this was your first time coming to this channel go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you won't miss any of our future videos bye for now and see you on our next video